The tower has a shadow which is 50 meter longer than when the sun's altitude was 60 degree compared to 30 degree. To remove the irrationality in the denominator, we can multiply and we can get h is equal to 50 into root 3 plus 1 meter as answer. Suppose if they ask you to find out the distance of the second point, then it is 50 plus 100, 150 meter away from the tower. Hello everyone, a warm welcome to one and all. This is your Shruti ma'am lecturing in Vidyashram, the temple of excellence, Mysuru. So in our previous session, we have studied about the one of the important application of trigonometry that is heights and distances to calculate the unknown height of a tower, mountain, building or a distance between a boat or a building from a man like that. So here also we'll continue to find out the same unknown distances and heights of certain objects. So the first question given here is the shadow of a tower standing on a level plane is found to be 50 meter longer when sun's altitude is 30 degree. Then when it is 60 degree find the height of the tower. So here let this be a tower. So when sun's altitude was 30 degree if you consider this as a sun this is my eye level and 30 degree will impact to this angle and it is actually greater than the shadow when it was 60 degree. It is 50 meter long when compared to the shadow when the sun's altitude was 60 degree. This is 30 degree. So actually this is 30 and this is 60 degree for sun's altitude. So we are writing the alternate angles here. So what they have given here, the tower has a shadow which is 50 meter longer than when the sun's altitude was 60 degree compared to 30 degree. Now we need to find out the height of this tower. So let's take this as A, B, C and D. Now. Let me take height of the tower as h here. So we have this unknown length here. So let it be bc. I'll consider this as x. So this is the total shadow of the tower when the sun's altitude was 30 degree. And this is the shadow of the tower when the angle was 60 degree. So now to find the height of the tower, we have two right angle triangles here. So from triangle, ABC tan 60 degree can be written as opposite side by adjacent side. So that is H divided by X. So what is tan 60? It is root 3. H by X or H is equal to root 3X. Take this as equation 1. So let me take my second equation from triangle ACD. From triangle ACD tan 30 degree is again opposite side by adjacent side. Adjacent side is sum of 50 and x. So it can be written as 50 plus x. So now this is 1 by root 3 h divided by 50 plus x or we can write 50 plus x divided by root 3 is equal to h. Take this as equation 2. Equations 1 and 2 we will get 50 plus x root 3 is equal to root 3x or we get 50 plus x is equal to 3x or we get 2x is equal to 3x minus x becomes 2x. So 2x is equal to 50. So therefore x is equal to 25 meter. So this is what the shadow of the tower when the angle of depression was 60 degree. But I need to find out the height now. The height is actually root 3x. So therefore what I can write h is equal to root 3x. This implies h is equal to 25 root 3 meter. So this is the height of the given tower. Next question. An aeroplane when flying at a height of 2000 meters passes vertically above another plane at an instant when their angles of elevation from the same point of observation are 60 degree and 45 degree respectively find the distance between the 
aeroplanes. So we have an aeroplane which is flying at the height of 2000 meter from the ground. And it is also passing through another plane here. So let me consider this as plane 1 and this is plane 2 now. So two planes are flying together. So the first plane is above the other plane which is at 2000 meters higher from the ground. Now at certain point if we watch these two planes the angle of elevation created was 45 degree and 60 degree. Now we have to calculate the distance between the planes. This is the distance we have to calculate. So let us name this triangles as A, B, C and let this be the point D. So now find the distance between the aeroplanes. So this distance we have to calculate it now. If this is 2000 and if we need to calculate this distance, I'll consider this as H. Then what is this actually? This is 2000 minus H because the total height is 2000 and this is the distance between the two planes. H means the remaining distance can be written as 2000 minus H. Now apply the tan formula for the two triangles here. We have two triangles, right angle that B. So from triangle A, B, C, so what is triangle? This is the triangle whose angle is 60 degree. So I can write tan 60 degree is equal to opposite side is full complete that is 2000 divided by the base is BC. Tan 60 is root 3. So we get 2000 divided by BC or I can write BC is equal to 2000 divided by root 3. Let me take this as equation 1. Again from one more triangle that is right angle triangle DBC. I can write tan 45 degree is equal to opposite side is this one that is 2000 minus H divided by the base is same tan 45 degrees 1. So if this is 1 means by cross multiplying I can write BC is equal to 2000 minus H. Take this as equation 2. Now equating 1 and 2 because we have BC on left hand side we can equate the right hand side. We will get 2000 divided by root 3 is equal to 2000 minus H. So multiplying we will get 2000 is equal to 2000 root 3 minus H root 3. Now shifting this we will get root 3 h is equal to 2000 root 3 minus 2000 h is equal to take 2000 common we will get root 3 minus 1 divided by root 3 in terms of meter. So this is what h, h is the distance between the planes. So therefore distance between the planes aeroplanes is 2000 root 3 minus 1 divided by root 3 meter. Next question, the angle of elevation of the top of a tower from two points distant A and B from its foot and the same straight line from it are 30 degree and 60 degree show that the height of the tower is root AB. So we have a tower here. We have two different points on this straight line. So let me consider this as point T and point B. So when you look at the tower from these two points, so the angle of elevation is given. This is 30 degree and this is 60 degree. Let me write this as C and D. So now we have to calculate the height of the tower H here. Now using the concept of tan theta, so from triangle ACD what we can write tan 30 degree is equal to H divided by CA. Now what is this CA? This is the length of the point A and this is the length of the point B. 
So let's write this as h divided by a. So 1 by root 3 is equal to h by a or h can be written as a divided by root 3. Take this as equation 1. Now next from triangle which is the second triangle we have BCD. I can write tan 60 degree is equal to h divided by CB or you can write BC that is nothing but h by B tan 60 degrees root 3 is equal to h by B. So therefore h is equal to B root 3. Take this as equation 2. Now multiply equation 1 and 2. So multiplying 1 and 2 on the left hand side we get h into h h square on the right hand side a by root 3 into b root 3 root 3 root 3 get cancels we are left with a b now here we have h square so therefore h is equal to root a b hence we have proved they have asked you to show that height of the tower is root a b so therefore we got h is equal to root a b next question from the top of a cliff, the angle of depression of two boats in the same vertical plane as the observer are 30 degree and 45 degree. If the distance between the boat is 100 meters, find the height of the cliff. So here is a cliff. We are, this is the vertical line. We are observing two boats whose angles are given. So that is 30 degree and 45 degree. This will be my eye level and this is the angle of depression actually. So when you convert it into right angle triangle, you will get 30 degree here, 45 degree here. So let me name this as A, B, C, D. One more they have given the distance between the boat is 100 meters. So this is given. So let me take this as X. Let me take this as height H. Now I need to find out the height of the cliff. So for that from triangle ABC tan 45 degree is equal to opposite by adjacent. So therefore I will get here H is equal to X. Take it as equation 1. Again from triangle ABD tan 30 degree is equal to opposite by adjacent is the complete length it is x plus 100 so here i'll get 1 by root 3 is equal to h divided by x plus 100 or x plus 100 divided by root 3 can be taken as h so now compare equation 1 and 2 so comparing 1 and 2 we get x is equal to x plus 100 divided by root 3 or root 3 x so minus x is equal to 100 x if you take common factor you will get root 3 minus 1 is equal to 100 so therefore x is equal to 100 divided by root 3 minus 1 meters now from equation 1 we have got h is equal to x so this implies what this implies h is 100 divided by root 3 minus 1 meter. What is this h actually? It is the height of the cliff is 100 divided by root 3 minus 1 meter. So this is how we can calculate the height of the cliff. So here you can also rationalize it. So when you rationalize it, that is h is equal to 100 divided by root 3 minus 1. When you rationalize it, you will multiply with its conjugate, which become 100 into root 3 plus 1 divided by 3 minus 1, 2, which is equal to 50 into root 3 plus 1 meter. So this can also be the answer when you multiply the conjugate for this root 3 minus 1. To remove the irrationality in the denominator we can multiply and we can get h is equal to 50 into root 3 plus 1 meter as answer. Next question 
From a point A due north of the tower, the elevation of the top of the tower is 60 degree. From a point B due south, the elevation is 45 degree. If AB is 100 meters, show that the height of the tower is 50 root 3 into root 3 minus 1 meters. So we have a tower here. So let me consider this as north and this is the south. This is point A and this is point B. From point A, when you look at the top of the tower, the angle of elevation was 60 degree. And from here, it is 45 degree. And the distance between A and B is given, that is 100 meters. Now I need to calculate the height of the tower. So let me name this as C and D. So let's calculate it now. From triangle ACD, tan 60 degree is equal to H divided by AD. Or if this is root 3, I'll get this as root 3 is equal to H AD. So let me take this as AD is equal to H divided by root 3. So take this as equation 1. Next, from triangle, next triangle is BCD tan 45 degree is equal to H divided by BD. Tan 45 degree value is 1, so therefore I can write BD is equal to H. Take this as equation 2. Now, I neither know the value of ED nor BD, but I know the value of AB. To get AB, I need to add AD and BD. So for that purpose, what I'll do, adding 1 and 2. Adding 1 and 2, what happens in the left hand side? It is AD plus BD. On the right hand side, it is H plus H root 3. So which becomes root 3 H plus H divided by root 3. Now this is complete length AB. AB is equal to, here if you take H as a common factor, it is root 3 plus 1 divided by root 3. Now here, what happens? H is equal to length AB is given, which is 100, 100 into root 3 divided by root 3 plus 1. So here we have root 3 plus 1 in the denominator. Let us multiply or rationalize it. Multiply with root 3 minus 1 divided by root 3 minus 1. So therefore, H is equal to 100 root 3 into root 3 minus 1 divided by, this is 3 minus 1, which is equal to 2. We can cancel 100 by 2. So this implies H is equal to 50 root 3 into root 3 minus 1 in terms of meter. So this is what we have to prove that height of the tower was 50 root 3 into root 3 minus 1 meter, which they have asked you to find out. Next question. The angle of elevation of a tower from a point on the ground is 30 degree. At a point on the horizontal line passing through the foot of the tower and 100 meters nearer it, the angle of elevation is found to be 60 degree. Find the height of the tower and distance of the first point from the tower. So given a tower and two points, whose angles are 30 degree and 60 degree. So we have a point here. So let me name this as A, B, C, D. Suppose C is a point. So they have told you that the horizontal line passing through the foot of the tower and 100 meters nearer it, the angle of elevation is found to be 60 degree. So it is 100 meters here. And let me take this as X and let me take the height as H. Now I need to calculate the height of the tower as well as the distance x. That is the distance of the first point from the tower. So now using the concept of right angle property. So from triangle ABC, I have tan 60 degree is equal to h divided by x. 
So root 3 is equal to h by x. So therefore, h is equal to root 3x. I can take, take this as equation 1. Next again, from triangle ABD, tan 30 degree is equal to height is same, distance is x plus 100. And here it is 1 by root 3 is equal to h divided by x plus 100. Or I can write h is equal to x plus 100 divided by root 3. Take this as equation 2. Now from 1 and 2 here, equate it, you will get root 3x is equal to x plus 100 divided by root 3. Or you get 3x is equal to x plus 100 or 2x is equal to 100 which implies x is equal to 50 meter. What is this actually x? It is the distance of the first point from the tower. So therefore, distance of the first point from the tower is Fifty meter. Now they have also told you to find the height of the tower. So therefore, from equation one we have h is equal to root three x. So this implies h is equal to fifty root three meter. So therefore, height of the tower is fifty root three meter. So hence we have calculated the distance of the first point from the tower as well as the height of the tower. Suppose if they ask you to find out the distance of the second point, then it is 50 plus 100, 150 meter away from the tower. So this is all about the chapter heights and distances. You will get four marks question for examination to calculate any unknown distance as well as any unknown height of the tower, cliff, etc. We'll meet you with the new chapter in our next session. Until then, keep watching, keep learning and keep exploring. Thank you.